Armstrong. So the question that I have for you is this. You have said that you support a carbon tax. I oppose a carbon tax. What in dollars is the amount that every electricity bill will increase under your carbon tax? Congressman, as you well know, the market will set the level for a, car a fee on carbon. Carbon pollution is real. You don't believe in climate change, so you're not interested in So it will in increase solution. electricity rates. It, uh, no, I said the market will set a price. Just so like, it will increase Just the like price. the market set a price when first President Bush put in effect the Clean Air Act, which lowered pollution, developed new technologies, and in the long run benefited our nation. I would tell you that the price we're paying right now for your denial of climate change is a very high one. Colorado is ready to meet the challenge of reducing carbon emissions. We've been preparing for it for many years. I wish you would listen to the scientists in this state and understand that this is Colorado's future. We're a best of the above energy state. This is uh, something that's just there for the taking. And under my leadership, that's what we're going to do. And Senator, if I could follow up to that, I was like, thank you. Uh, you just said that you, the market would set a price for a carbon tax. Now, there is no the market carbon tax. Price for if you wouldn't mind letting me finish. Let, me, let me finish the question. Thank you. Uh, you just said that question. the market. Welcome to a rebuttal. We don't have time. <laughs> oh, the rebuttal. Yeah. You just said that the market would we'll set a going. cost. There is no cost on the electricity bills today. What would that cost be in as dollar as terms as every I've month? As I've said in a number of debates, Congressman. The market will set a cost. The cost already because of your inaction is too high. I think we've both been heard on that.